Michael, today you and I are going to put together a hot air balloon. I assume you have never made a hot air balloon. No, I haven't. Well, you can make one out of relatively simple things that you find around the house, and it's a nice sort of engineering uh, experience because you have to concentrate on making everything extremely light. First of all, you need struts or, or stiff pieces, and you can get some of these, can't you? Yeah, they're straws. Straws. Have you put two of them together to make them longer? Yeah. Okay, you show me how you do that. You pinch one, the end of one, right? Yeah. Okay. Put so together. there you are. You need a total three pieces like that, so a total of six straws. Then, think you can find that aluminum around the Aluminum foil. Yeah, yeah, a piece of aluminum foil. Very thin wire. I don't know where I'd get that. Well, a good source is the picture wire that they have, that they use to hang pictures oh, with. Oh, yeah. It's uh, stranded, so you can just pull out one strand, so you need thin wire. And then... Transparent tape. I can get that around right. the house. And finally, that. What is it? Well, that's solid alcohol. You know where you could get that? It's used underneath chafing dishes and whatnot to melt oh, butter and stuff okay. like that. So anyway, the experiment that we're going to do is one that you shouldn't do by yourself anyway. Your parents ought to help you with it, and they'd have to buy you the, the source of heat. Because to make a hot air balloon, you got to have heat. Yeah. Well, here it is all put together. Oh, the one last ingredient is this thing right here. There. Oh, a big A big bag, bag from the cleaners. <clears throat> That's the hot air bag. And down at the bottom, here, you see how I put it together? Oh, yeah. Here are the, the six straws around here with the transparent tape taping it in place to make a triangle at the bottom, okay? Then here are the thin pieces of wire. Uh-huh. And here is the little... That's going to be the foil. stove. That's going to be the stove. Then I've attached a piece of string to it and the cup at the other end as an anchor because I didn't okay. want to go too high. Yeah. That's not part of the balloon. So come on around over here. Here, come on over here. And you hold the balloon up like that. And I'll get the solid aluminum or uh, solid alcohol and put it here in the dish and then light it. So you hold it up so that we don't get the heat next to the... Uh, to the thin plastic because it would melt otherwise. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Here goes the fuel. You sort of spread it out to make a nice hot flame with the minimum amount of fuel. And now you light it. And if all goes well, we should launch our hot air balloon. Hang on to it, don't let go. Getting filled up? Yeah, it's full. Full of hot air. Now, why does this work, do you know? Why is it going to fly, hopefully? Well, because of the hot air that's inside, and hot air is later than regular air. Regular air, so and it therefore, rises. cold air is going to push it up. So doesn't it seem strange? Gravity ought to pull down on the balloon. Yeah. And yet it's going up because the, the hot air inside weighs less than an equal amount <laughs> of cold air. So the cold air, in effect, pushes up like a bubble. Oh, I see. Like a bubble in water. There we are. That's how to make a hot air balloon out of a clothing bag.